we'll guide you through how to transfer WhatsApp chats from your iPhone to your Android Samsung phone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, just make sure WhatsApp is not installed on this phone. And then what we need to do is connect them together. So what you'll need is a cable for that. So this iPhone is USB-C and this Android is also. So therefore I can just use a USB-C to USB-C, but older iPhones are going to be lightning. So you'll need a lightning cable like this with then the other end for your Android phone. This is a USB-C Android, so I could go and use this cable with an older iPhone. But you get the idea, get a cable which connects them both and then plug it in. I've now gone and connected them. And then what you need to do is go and open up the Play Store and you need to go and search for an app called Smart Switch. So just go and search for it and you'll need to go and install it. It's quite a small app and then go and open it up just like so. When you open it up, it will ask about transferring your data. And what you want to do is then come back to your iPhone like so. You need to go to your WhatsApp settings. So click on settings and then click on chats. And then you need to go and click on move chats to Android. So go and click there like so and press start. And it's then gonna go and prepare things. And now we need to go and continue on our new phone, AKA Android. And you wanna go and click on receive data, just like this and then click on iPhone slash iPad. It will say about getting them connected, which we now have, and it's now connecting to transfer your data. So just wait, it's now searching for data to transfer. Now you wanna go and choose the data you wish to transfer. I don't want to do everything. I just want to do apps because that is what WhatsApp is. So I'll go and select it and then scroll down and go and click on transfer in the bottom. It's now gonna go and check for matching apps. And as you can see, it's down 23. So once again, I'm gonna go and unselect all and I just want WhatsApp like so. And then you can go and click on install. And now it's asking us to go and scan the QR code with our iPhone to open WhatsApp. And you need to go and press on cancel in the top and press on cancel transfer. Then come out of WhatsApp and you need to open up the camera like so and go and scan it. Move your iPhone away a bit and then click on open in WhatsApp. And then it'll go and say move chats to Android. Just press start again like so. And it'll then say getting chats ready and it will then go and start transferring. So here I need to go and trust the computer. So let me go and open, enter my passcode like so. And now it'll go and start the process. So all you now need to do is go and wait. As you can see for me, it's going to take 34 minutes. So just be patient and keep them connected. And I'm gonna keep the screen on. It's now finished and you can go and click on next in the bottom right and you can press next again and it says about getting your iCloud data, but we've gone and transferred WhatsApp now, so it's fine. So you can then go and close out of the app like so, and then I'll go and locate WhatsApp and we can go and open it up. So we can then go and start the setup process. We need to go and choose your language. You need to agree to the privacy policy and the terms of service. And then what you need to do is you need to go and enter uh, the same phone number as you're using on your iPhone. So if the SIM card is still in your iPhone, go and transfer it. WhatsApp will ask about syncing your contacts and media. That's fine with me, so I'll go and allow it because I need to go and access it. And as you can see, it now says importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. I'll go and press start like so, and it's now gonna do it. It's now finished. You can press next and you can then type in your name and you can then press next like that and it's now initializing and that is it. But I just want to show you the chats have now been transferred. It's that simple and as you can see the content is there as well.